Yeah? Jody. Hey, it's, it's Ryan. Ryan! I was just wondering if you got my email. What, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. You know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You know, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again. I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Oh, do you fucking hear me? This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look. Dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. All right, there. Chill out, Jody. Okay, just calm down. There's no need to panic. You're gonna be great. Oh, crap. 
Do I have time to take a shower first? Or what should I wear? Oh, hey, Ryan. Yeah, whatever. I just, like, threw these old things on, because... Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Is it not enough effort? Oh, hi, Ryan. I've been waiting for you. I don't know. Oh, hello, Ryan. Oh, do you like it? Classic, elegant. Je ne sais quoi. I don't want to give them the wrong idea. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna be me. I mean, there's no point in me throwing myself at the guy. You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. Period. Oh my god. Oh crap. Crap, he's early. I'm coming! Aiden, don't be a pain in the ass. Right. The trash can in the kitchen. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, I hate this stuff. I gotta find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef, huh? I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curried chicken with oven-baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. I mean, it's... Not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Yeah, chicken curry with a little down-home flavor. I mean, he's gonna love that. I mean, as long as I don't fuck it up.
Thanks, Aiden. Come on, Aiden, don't be a pain in the ass. Right. The trash can in the kitchen. Gotta find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef, huh? I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curried chicken with oven baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. I mean, it's. Not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Yeah, chicken curry with a little down-home flavor. I mean, he's gonna love that. I mean, as long as I don't fuck it up. Thanks, Aiden. So far, so good. Take an oven dish.
Well, into the oven we go. You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Ryan. Books. Okay, on the bookshelf. Okay, great. I didn't behave yourself. This is important to me, and I'm counting on you. <laughs> uh, Chet Del Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me. So. Why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the, um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> Thanks. 
Aiden, for fuck's sakes. Want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. <laughs> to your new apartment. To my new apartment. <laughs> Oh, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything, which is it's actually the first place I've ever had just by myself. So it's weird getting used to the idea of it. <laughs> and how about you? Where where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place just outside of town. Yeah, it's small, but you know, it's got a little garden and it's pretty quiet. And did you, did you grow up here? Or? No, no, I, I was born in Oregon. Yeah, my parents and brother still live there. But I, I moved out when I was 16. 16? Oh. Did you get, get kicked out or something? Uh, well, things were pretty chaotic at home. My, my stepfather liked to beat me when he had too much to drink, and, uh, I just decided to get out before one of us went too far. Um, how did you end up joining the CIA? I, uh, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, tried the army, you know, looked for the action, travel, adventure, <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. <laughs> and when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped at it. You know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because this cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure for me. <laughs> you need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> okay. Mmm, smells good. Oh, it's um, chicken curry with oven baked vegetables. I mean, that's what it's supposed to be, <laughs> so. I didn't know you cooked, and it looks great. Good. Oh, good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. So we've been working together now for what? what two years? I know mean, almost nothing about you. Well, I mean, there's nothing much to say. I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus, and then, and then Nathan looked after me, and well, I mean, you pretty much know the rest. So. You know, your parents, do you, uh, you still see them? No. No, I don't, I'm... I think they were just terrified about how different I was. So, Nathan and Cole, they, they brought me up, more or less. They taught me how to cope with Aiden, how to accept myself as I am. I mean, it wasn't always easy, but I'm making progress. Yeah, did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Ivy? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the info world. Really not much about Aiden. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. So, like, is he here now? Listening to us? And... Yeah. 
Yeah, he never leaves me. Uh, what about you? Do you have Do you have any family here? No, no. My uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. Mm -hmm. And are you um? Are you married or anything? No, no. I mean, yes, I mean, I, I, I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for uh, two years. And uh, yeah, it couldn't work. I mean, it, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar? I've got Aiden, so. I mean, anyone in our world. You know what? Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. Ryan's got nothing to do with this. I didn't. Thank you. 